this is the Dakar, just here, and I'm here. This is really cool. in front of me. Uh, all the other landers, like this morning, we all split. Uh, so with JB and Margot, we are actually, they are French, we are actually at the location where the special, the race of today is going to end tomorrow. So normally tomorrow morning, we should be able to see um, the first bikes and cars and trucks coming. Uh, here, this side, probably on the road I'm driving now. So now we want just to drive into the dunes. There is nothing to see today, but we just want to drive into the dunes now. And uh, putain, it's deep then, so maybe I need to deflate. Or let's see, inshallah. And, um... ah, putain. No, I can do it. And uh, so we sleep in the dunes, and then tomorrow morning we might move again to get closer to the road where they're all going to drive. Oh putain, quel coup bordel de merde. Voilà, 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 voilà. Bon, je vais sortir les Mastrax. Yeah, I think JB is going to kill me. Stupidiest things in the world. Charline, well done. Voilà. I just go down here. And I complete this stack. The tracks are here. Here, tick tick. <laughs> JB, tu peux, tu peux rester là. Reste là, reste là. Reste là. Ah ouais <rire> Non mais j'étais bien partie, ça c'est une bonne nouvelle parce que regarde là j'ai bien descendu et j'étais en train de remonter et après la voiture a été comme ça et... Il dure combien de temps qu'on vivra ici Bah je pense que j'ai demandé euh, 10 ans <rire> Ah bah, je pense que j'ai eu, un, comme on appelle euh, chez les professionnels, une merde. Ouais. <rire> ok, I'm the stupidest girl in the universe. But I probably you know that already. Actually, I was not stuck. Because I think 
I'm tired and I'm excited and so many emotions. I was shaking when I, like, because I was with the 4x4 and the 4WD. And then when I was inside, the 4WD obviously was not enough for me uh, to, you know, get out. So I put the low range to have some more boost. And instead of putting the low range, I put the neutral. <laughs> and I was here <laughs> instead of here. Putain. So obviously I could get out. I think Rafiki is tired. I'm, I was stuck here for like ages. Putain, en fait, j'en ai marre. Voilà. Allez, je me casse. So, I'm going. I don't play in the dunes for the rest of the day. I'm tired. Regardez il ici. Camion, il est un peu là-bas. Allez, on va monter. Putain, c'est canon. On voit Rafiki. Je peux m'asseoir Je fais comme chez moi. Hein. Oh la vache. Là, navigator. Oh putain. I can look inside. It's really nice. It's all equipped. Oh putain, j'aimerais trop être là. Euh, je me suis fait piquer la place. Du coup, euh, le driver c'est lui et un homme ici, copilot. Oh putain. Tiens. Oh les sangs. Je suis en train de filmer. Merci beaucoup. Bon, bah, ça c'est les pièces de rechange qu'on a pour les, pour les véhicules et pour le camion. Oh la vache. Assistance truck for the Dakar. They've got everything they need behind. It's insane. So many things. Ça c'est parfait. Ce qui est dommage, c'est que l'hélico. Ce, ce qui est dommage, c'est que l'hélico, on l'a vu, on l'a vu décoller il y a un quart d'heure devant nous, aller exactement dans la direction de la, du truc. Ça qui est dommage, quoi. Voilà, ça aurait été yeah. euh, résolu euh, plus simplement. Mais c'est pas grave. En tout cas, merci beaucoup. D'accord. So awesome. Waiting for JB there. We were there with the guys for from the rally. Rafiki is here. Basically, what what's happening here? So we were with the assistants, the guys from the uh, Dakar assistants. One car is actually stuck in dunes there, and uh, for the trucks of the assistance trucks, it's like they, there is no way they can go there. They tried like many times, but the problem is that the car broke like many important uh, parts, and um, now the guys from the assistance truck. They are, to go, they are going to go walking two kilometers with all the spare parts. So that's why they are there, but they have to park the, the trucks there. I'm still waiting for Jibé there, for him. Um, and I'm here with Rafiki. We are going to spend the night here, I think. And, uh, but now I just want to have a look up there because probably from this dune, I don't know, maybe we can already see the, the car stuck somewhere. So. just insane so we just wanted to uh, park over there and look at this truck like I can see the trucks like this in this hole 
and it's like literally completely stuck here. It's f***ing steep. We always talk about the pilots of the Paris Dakar. Like, I, I don't know why I say Paris Dakar, it's just the Dakar now. The team behind, the guys behind for the assistants working day and night, they literally don't sleep. They're always constantly on the terrain with the guys assisting. They are f***ing heroes, I promise you. Like, it's insane. I just go further and further away because they earlier see like the thing, the, the, the rope just broke. So, and it was flying in the air. So if you receive it on your face, you, you can die. C'était vraiment incroyable, je te jure. On est dans la mer. Ouais. Tous les ans. Avec qui Regarde bien. Passe là. Tu t'appelles comment Pierre. Pierre Calou. Eh bah ben, Pierre, tu déchires. Ouais. Tu passeras sur YouTube. Ouais, cool. <rire> Vous êtes des héros, les tu mecs. J'ai envoyé la vidéo de. Tu peux la publier aussi. Là, si on enlève ça, c'est pas assez. Allez. Look, guys. Risca. Il est en train de mourir. Risca. Donne-moi les coordonnées de la voiture. De la voiture Ouais. You think you can go now Show me, Captain. Yes. Hertz. Yes, yes, yes. I know the tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mais il était trop dégoûté parce que sur la sur la traction, on a eu des gentils. See the track from the track yesterday night. It was here, here, and it was stuck here on this portion. And we guys, we are here. Sorry, my face, but now the police just came to tell me that we have to go. They also asked this move, this track to move, but it's not possible. So we are going to go down and to watch the. Final. This is the finish line, what you can see here. So they go, they're going to arrive from there 
the finish line is literally here. So, voilà. Afiki, <laughs> can you hear them coming? The bikes and the helicopter. Yeah, the first bikes. Yeah, mama. But I have to leave now because they're not happy. Normal. We have our breakfast for this morning, thanks to this guy. We have that! Yeah, that's a medical supply. No, no! It's a mini, mini supply. Oh, that's right. what? Oh. And uh, that's... Uh, Mais non! Croissant. Uh, Mais non! <laughs> And we're very lucky because yesterday we could enter here because everything is fenced because it's also like a military area and nobody can enter anymore and we are still here so that's really cool. The race like the, the tracks are here like you see Rafiki is literally like yeah, it's really cool. We can't really go up because the police is everywhere and they don't want us to go, which is completely normal because it's a big event and uh, they don't want something uh, bad to happen. The police is very, very nice in Saudi. I'm very, I'm very amazed by them. They very, very nice people, not stressed or like, oh yeah, no, no. They're very calm and you see? Okay. They're very calm and uh, they explain to you calmly and oh, no, it's better to go there, blah, blah, blah. Et là, on a monté pour aller là. C'est ça, we want to see this. What? Ah. Bien joué 
C'est pas facile, hein Non, c'était pas simple. C'est pas simple, hein, bravo. C'est un peu long, là. We are now invited to uh, meet somewhere uh, like on the road. They told us that we can have some uh, steak and fries with our uh, friend, the assistant, assistant truck behind. Hi! Hello! Hi! This tech fit and this truck. Look at that. Are you happy? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind the wall, yes. and uh, this is my plate. Voilà. To eat with the team of the back arm. Check. <laughs> C'est votre premier Dakar à 52 ans Ouais. Comment vous vous sentez là hein, En pleine forme. Sérieux Bah voilà, ouais, ça oui. va maintenant que je suis arrivé. Maintenant que vous êtes arrivé, bah il ouais. y a la suite après Ouais, mais demain on dort toute la journée, ça va être bon. La nuit dernière, vous l'avez passé tout seul à la MyCorn dans le désert. C'est ça. Pour avancer un peu sur les autres. Voilà. Et là, vous l'avez fait, les 48 heures, vous l'avez fait. Voilà. Vous êtes un ouf, vous appelez comment J'aime Simona. Mais euh, bah vous déchirez. Je suis, je suis connu pour ça. Ouais, <rire> et bah... Traverser l'Amérique du Sud en vélo, les Pyrénées à pied, je fais que des trucs comme ça en fait. En fin de compte, je le fais en marathon, je le fais pas en course. Ouais. Et du coup, ça marche bien. Et c'est satisfaisant à la fin. Bah oui. Parce, parce qu'on qu y arrive. Exactement. Ouais, bon à part là, vous êtes un peu raide là pour enlever, hein euh, Pour enlever le bouson là. C'est lâche. <rire> 52 ans, c'est le début de la jeunesse, c'est l'adolescence ça, ouais, chez les bikers. C'est le début de ma retraite. <rire> bah, moi, ça vous fait rigoler, ça me fait plaisir. Sprit à la sortie du désert. <rire> Alors, tu peux manger du coup hier soir. Oh putain. 800 km to Riyadh. Yes. So, all my good luck to you and all my energy for you. Thank you. So now relax, but not too much. Drive. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We have a new situation here. Premier rally red. Premier rally red, premier Dakar, et fin de première semaine. Et comment tu te sens là? <laughs> Prêt à attaquer la deuxième. <laughs> Should I go there? 
because it's just once in your lifetime, right? So um, I really would like to make the most of it. And tomorrow, let's see how I feel and stuff. Uh, if I feel it, I drive straight to, that, to Riyadh. I love the Dakar. Like I've got a massive crush. Um, I'm like, shit man, I really want to <laughs> maybe participate in Dakar one day. <laughs> like it's such an amazing, very draining, but amazing atmosphere and uh, experience and uh, yeah, it's just so cool. So yeah, that's my impressions of the Dakar.